Hello guys, welcome to Alphronics. Today we are going to see how to load an image from our computer into MATLAB. So, and the version of MATLAB that I'm using is 2018. So we start off straight by typing guide. Click enter. This nice window will pop up. Um, it is called the guide or G GUI for short or GUI. You can say that. Alright, so go for blank. Then you click on OK. This other window will pop up. Just maximize it. And then we try to expand this work area. Alright. So, okay, here are the components that we'll be working with. And here will be the working space. Alright. So, our main goal in this project is to display an image on MATLAB. We'll be taking image from our computer and then display it in MATLAB. In order for us to achieve that, we need a button that we will click on and will take us into any drive in our computer. Then we'll select the image and display it on a screen. So we have to find a button and a screen to display the image. All right. And as we are talking about button, if you haven't subscribed to Afronix yet, just smash that red button below and subscribe to Afronix. And also don't forget the bell. Alright, enough of advertisement. Now, let us start by selecting an axis. Okay, the axis is the screen that we'll be using to display. Click on it, let this drag it this way. Good, alright. So here will be our screen. So we need a button to click on. So you go to this push button, then drag and put the button here. All right. And also we want to display text that will show us like kind of like we want to make it a fancy one. Okay, click on a static text, click on it, then find a nice area to place it here. Good. So if we click on run say yes then we have to give it a name let us say display image okay that will be it let us say okay all right so a window will pop up like this so this is our component that we've selected here is our push button here will be our screen and then here will be our text so we are going to change the text we are going to edit it and clear this screen so that it will look natural all right so let us close this we go back to our GUI in our guide we have to click start with the text we change the font size to 30 enter okay then we change the string come to the st string here that is what is on the text what to be displayed there let us say Afronix image processing enter then we go to the color of the text we will give it a blue okay all right so we click on okay here it is then we have to change the push button also we edit it let us change the color the foreground color change it to let us give it pink then the font size let us change it to 30 and then here is what will be displayed on the button so let us change it to load image and then the, the tag here is what will be appeared in the code so let us name it nicely so that we can understand what we will be programming on so let us say select the score so we want to use underscore so that we will not use space for the code all right so it's done we just click on close nice and then now it's time for us to get um, edit the axis so we go down to x tick now we find x tick we have to change we have to change this x tick label from auto to manual then we change the x tick labels 
clear it off and then we change the x color let us give it white okay then next we go to our y tick there's our y tick we change the label mode from auto to manual okay you click on okay now let us run this again nice okay so this is what we want right so now it's time for us to go and do the coding so from here let us just close this then so if we uh, if we click outside here and say go to editor so here is the editor and the callback generated code then we have to program a particular area which is the push button because it has to be push button will be the one to call to action select the image so here is the one selected image say select image this is what we um, named our push button as right okay now it's time for us to program let me expand this area back see okay so we start off by declining our variables a global. All right. So this global we use global so that anywhere in this code we use I M one and I M two, it will be recognized in the code. All right. So it's going to be entirely in the code. So click enter. So now we want to display a message that if you want to select an image and later cancel the process then it will display a, um, a message so that is what we will be doing now let us put, put that one we'll say path that if there is no file this will be custom when we try to get the image so now let us run an if condition so if no file this will be the message that will be displayed so this will be the image that will be displayed so let us give it a type of uh, display it will be it will be an error display and what will be the symbol that will appear in the error display message? One is sign. Close our bracket. All right. So if we are done with that, we just say return and end the if condition. Good. So this will be our, our message. Now it's time for us to now select the image and bring it into the axis. So say read image from where path okay this will select the image from a directory in our computer any of the directory in our computer okay. click enter okay so say say i am it would be m2 double All right, so we see. All right, it's your color. All right, so here this will select the image, and when we select the image, we want something to display it, right? So we need something to hold the image on the screen. So what will we be using to hold the image? That will be the axis, right? So it's so what will the axis do it has to handle it to hold the image and in which or which of the axis we the name of the axis that we selected was axis one good now after it hold the image what do we want the axis to do after holding the image we want it to show the image right so say image show and which of the image the one that axis hold which is i am one then 
so here is our code first we display an error message when you cancel in selecting the image process and also here will be the process where we will select our image from any directory and here is for us to display our image hold it and display it on the screen so now let us hit on run and see what the code has for us if we hit on run now nice platform so we just click on load image let us select this image the image is not displaying what's the problem maybe we had problem with the code okay let me expand this and see oh we have with this one axis one let me see the code so we said axis one so now maybe we name maybe we got a, a wrong name so let us go to our guide oh it is axis three so we just click let us go back and see instead of axis one see axis three okay now let's see clc to clear ah, let us run again here select our image boom here is our image nice right now let us select another image and see just select this great it will take the size of the image right this is this is great eh? let us see if you want to select an image like this and then you try to cancel an error will be displayed here image not found right so let us select another image again great this looks great right so this is how you go about in selecting an image and mind you what happens when a three-faced moto loses a face so this is a blog post that have been posted by phronix so and if you know this answer just comment in the comment section below oh um, if you want to know more about this um, question, just go into Afronix blog and you'll see a post like this. Or ch check in the description below, there will be a link to this post so that you will read and know what happens. So guys, this is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching this video.